Are you thinking about buying a house in Pittsburgh? Whether you are just starting your research or have been looking for months or even years, today I wanna share five neighborhoods that are hidden gems that might not be on your radar. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Mark McClinchy. Every week I drop new videos about living in Pittsburgh and my channel is dedicated to helping people from out of town learn more about the people and neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. And give me a call or email ASAP if you are moving to Pittsburgh so you get the help you need to make the process as smooth as possible. Pittsburgh metro area has plenty of popular and well-known communities such as Franklin Park, Fox Chapel, Mount Lebanon, Upper St. Clair, and many more. But in today's video, we will focus on some of the smaller and lesser known neighborhoods in the Pittsburgh area. First up, we actually have two small communities that are right beside each other, Roslyn Farms and Thornburg. Both of these communities are two of the smallest municipalities in Allegheny County, so it makes sense to feature them both at the same time. Thornburg and Roslyn Farms are about five miles east of downtown. They both sit off of the beaten path, but with easy access to the Parkway West and Interstate 79. Both communities are less than one square mile. The two communities have a lot in common, but Roslyn Farms is part of the Carlinton School District, whereas Thornburg is served by the Montour School District. Both Thornburg and Roslyn Farms were created in the early 20th century as some of the first suburban communities that began to develop in the Pittsburgh region. Both of these close-knit and friendly communities are primarily residential and offer plenty of recreational opportunities. Both of these communities also offer many social and community activities throughout the year. The tree-lined streets of Roslyn Farms in Thornburg give way to a variety of charming homes, including bungalows, craftsman style, and tutors. Both communities have roughly an equal number of homes and residents, and 98% of the homes are owner-occupied. In 2020, there were 19 homes that sold in Roslyn Farms and Thornburg at a median sales price of $400,000. Next, we move down to Washington County, where many people might be familiar with Peters Township and Cannon McMillan School Districts, both of which are great options to consider, but you might also want to take a look at Chartiers Houston. The municipality of Chartiers Township combines with the smaller Houston borough to form the Chartiers Houston School District. This community is about a 35 minute drive to downtown Pittsburgh and about 10 minutes to Washington, PA. Chartiers and Houston are also just minutes from the Meadowlands, the Tanger Outlets, and South Point Business Park. Most of the land area in Chartiers Houston is rural with a long history of farming, mining, and drilling. While most of the countryside is still quiet and scenic, Newer housing developments in the past few decades have started popping up in Chartiers Township. The Chartiers Houston School District has an enrollment of about 1,200 students and is highly regarded. It is a very friendly community highlighted by the always popular Houston Pumpkin Festival every October. Population of Chartiers Township is about 8,000 people and about 1,300 live in Houston. The median sales price in 2020 was $270,000 for the 112 sold homes. The average price per square foot was $147 and homes lasted about 40 days on the market. For a closer look at real estate in Chartiers Houston, you will find a link in the description below, which pulls up a list of homes currently for sale in Chartiers Township and Houston Borough. Another hidden gem neighborhood, which isn't too far from Roslyn Farms and Thornburg, is the community of Ingram. The borough of Ingram has about 3,500 residents and is served by the award-winning Montour School District. Ingram is bordered by the city of Pittsburgh to the west, north, and east. Crafton Borough is to the south. The West End Bridge is just two miles from Ingram. Public transportation is widely accessible, including the West Busway, which is a bus-only highway between downtown and Carnegie. Ingram is a neighborhood with a lot of pride and family history. There are lots of community activities, including Ingram Days every summer. Foster Park includes a playground, baseball fields, tennis courts, and more. The Crafton Ingram Shopping Center has plenty of retail options, 
as well as many Robinson Township businesses, which are less than 15 minutes away. The housing inventory in Ingram ranges from small bungalows and colonials to larger Victorian homes on Prospect Avenue. 61% of the homes in Ingram are owner occupied, and in 2020, there were 27 homes sold at a median sales price of $179,000. Homes move quickly, averaging 29 days on the market. If you are looking for a quiet bedroom community that is located within the city of Pittsburgh limits, then look no further than the next neighborhood on our list, Swiss Helm Park. Swiss Helm Park is perched atop a bluff overlooking the Monongahela River and bordered by Nine Mile Run and the borough of Swissvale. Swiss Helm Park has easy access to popular shops and restaurants in Squirrel Hill, Edgewood Town Center, and the waterfront in Homestead. Frick Park sits on the other side of the Parkway East from Swiss Helm Park. Swiss Helm Park is a family-oriented community with about 2,000 residents. This neighborhood is popular with many municipal workers required to live within the city limits of Pittsburgh. While the Pittsburgh Public Schools offer numerous magnet school options, the zone schools for students living in Swiss Helm Park include Minadeo K-5, Sterrett 6-8, and Alderdice High School. Homes in Swiss Helm Park look a lot like many of the surrounding suburban neighborhoods with ranch style homes and two-story colonials. But keep in mind this is a small neighborhood so inventory will always be a concern. The median sales price in 2020 was $267,000 for the 20 homes sold. For a list of homes currently for sale in Swiss Helm Park, check out the link in the description. For the final Pittsburgh neighborhood that might not be on your radar, we are going to feature Ben Avon Heights. Perhaps you are not aware of Ben Avon Heights because it is one of the smallest municipalities in Pennsylvania with less than 400 residents and covering just two tenths of a square mile. Ben Avon Heights is located seven miles north from downtown Pittsburgh. It is nestled in the wooded hills between the Ohio River and the Parkway North. It is bordered by Kilbuck Township and the borough of Avalon. The entrance and clubhouse of Shanapin Country Club is located in Ben Avon Heights. Although I do not have personal experience living in Ben Avon Heights, I am told it has a tremendous sense of community and it is an ideal neighborhood to raise a family. Ben Avon Heights has an active community club which organizes events throughout the year. This neighborhood is served by the Avonworth School District, which is one of the top ranked districts in the region. With only 148 homes total in Ben Avon Heights, the real estate market is somewhat sporadic and difficult to summarize. I used data from both 2019 and 2020 to find 11 homes sold at a median price of $430,000. The average price was just under $200 per square foot and homes were on the market for an average of 31 days. Ben Avon Heights is a hidden gem, but it might take a lot of patience to find a home for sale. If you are trying to learn about the numerous neighborhoods and communities of the Pittsburgh area, I hope you found this video helpful. Most of the neighborhoods I shared are on the smaller side, but they have plenty of amenities and perks that make them great places to live. Be sure to check out this playlist here where you can access my other best places to live in Pittsburgh videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.